Welcome to great online training, pharmacovigilance trainings. The job interview is probably the most important step you will take in your job search journey. And it's your best chance to show a hiring manager or the recruitment company that you are the best person for their job. Your performance in an interview depends to a significant extent on how well you have prepared for the role. While we won't be able to predict every question that will be asked in an interview, but there are few common questions which interviewers can ask. So in this series of videos, we are going to cover most of these common questions, including general questions, technical questions related to the pharmacovigilance and questions based on educational background. So you can practice these answers for the better performance in your interview. These videos will help you when you are applying for these job roles. So there are multiple roles in pharmacovigilance like drug safety associate, drug safety scientist, pharmacovigilance expert, drug safety physician, medical reviewer, pharmacovigilance executive, pharmacovigilance associate, pharmacovigilance data analyst, pharmacovigilance scientist, medical safety expert. So these videos will helpful for you when you are applying for the job in these roles. And these questions are prepared by the experts from the major organizations in the pharmacovigilance industry. And these are actually the uh, part of their interview questions uh, from these organizations, uh, like the Cognizant, Accenture, Novartis, IQVIA, Sanofi, Merck, Covance, and the Pfizer, TCS, Bioclinica, and Seniors Health. So these are the organizations from these organizations. We have collected the interview questions and we have prepared these videos. So we will start with the first question. So whenever you are applying for any role in the pharmacovigilance, so the basic knowledge that the interviewer will expect from you is about the pharmacovigilance process. So that is our first question. Do you know about the pharmacovigilance? So when interviewer asks this question, first you need to uh, practice the definition of the pharmacovigilance process, which is from, from the WHO, and then also you have to explain it uh, from your understanding point of view. Like you need to explain your answer like, we all expect medicines to work when we are ill, but it is equally important that someone always keeps an eye on the risk of these medicines. So that is the job of pharmacovigilance. So the pharmacovigilance is one of the key steps to ensure the safety of the medicines throughout their life cycle. So if there is any side effect, uh, any side effects are detected, the pharmacovigilance team will initiate the action and collect the necessary information to analyze and understand the event, why this event happened, whether it is because of the medicine or not. And once event is assessed, the measures will be taken to prevent or at least to minimize the risk in the future. So this is the definition of pharmacovigilance in your own words. So you have to explain in your own words about your understanding of this uh, pharmacovigilance process. And you need to also add a point like the pharmacovigilance process also monitors the benefit and risk profile of the medicine. So these are the important points which you need to include in your answer whenever you are explaining them about your knowledge in the pharmacovigilance process. So you have to explain the definition from your own words and or you can use the same wordings from the uh, WHO definition. And also you have to include these two points of ensuring the safety of the medicine and assessing the benefit and risk profile of the medicine throughout their life cycle. So these are the points you have to include whenever you are answering for this question. So this is our first question. Hope you like this video. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.